The Sony PlayStation PS5 is one of the most powerful gaming consoles available and the performance can be increased by adding an NVMe drive like the Saber Rocket 4 Plus. I will be showing you the installation, setup and giving you my thoughts after testing this drive. To start, we're going to remove the console stand and place it with the bottom plate facing up. That will be the one that doesn't have the PlayStation logo. We're going to grab the top rear corner of the plate and apply a little bit of pressure upwards while at the same time moving it towards the bottom of the console. This will release the cover plate and expose the PCI Express slot that we're going to use to install our NVMe drive. When you buy the Saber and Rocket 4 Plus kit that comes with the PS5 heatsink, it will also bring a number one Phillips screwdriver that is all you'll need for this installation. I will use my iFixit drive because it has a magnetic tip. This way I avoid dropping the screw by accident inside the PlayStation 5. We're going to remove the screw that holds the metal cover and we're going to reuse this screw with the Saber and PS5 heatsink later on. We won't need the metal cover so you can store it away. After exposing the PCI Express slot, we see that it supports many M.2 drives, but most common NVMe drives will be 2280 like the one we'll be installing. Let's remove the screw from the 110 slot, and this will be also holding a ring spacer that we will need to move down to the 80 slot. Now let's take our Saber Rocket 4 Plus that is capable of 7000 megabytes per second reads and 6600 megabytes per second writes and install it in our PS5. To install the drive, you will see that it has a notch and this needs to be aligned with the PCI Express slot and inserted in about a 30 degree angle. Most M.2 slots are designed to be inserted in an angle as the metal contacts will act as a spring system to make sure you got a good connection between the drive and the slot and also for easy removal. Once our drive is installed, now we're going to install the heatsink that will keep the drive cool. This heatsink is made exactly to fit the PS5. Let's remove the plastic that covers the thermal tape that will be in contact with the NVMe drive to help transfer and dissipate the heat. Now take the screw that we removed from the cover earlier and reuse it to install the heatsink. And that's all it is for the installation process. Now let's put the cover plate back. And to do this, we're going to place the cover until it sits correctly. Then we're going to apply pressure from the bottom of the console towards the top of the PS5 until you hear this click. That means that the cover is locked in place and secure. Now on our PS5, we will go through the drive setup, but what happens if you install a Gen 3 drive like this Saber Rocket or a drive that doesn't meet the specifications Sony requires? You will get this message on the screen right on the boot process telling you that the drive you installed doesn't meet the requirements and it needs to be removed. You won't be able to get past this message until the drive installed is removed. Once we have the correct drive installed, you will be asked to format your newly installed drive and once again, you won't be able to pass these screens until the drive is formatted or removed. And if you have found that this video is helpful, don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Once the formatting process is completed, you will get a benchmark on how fast your drive is. And as you can see in the screen, the Saber drive is averaging 6600 megabytes per second speeds. That is pretty fast. Once you hit OK, you will be sent to the PS5 dashboard like normal, and now you have to follow a few more steps to enable the drive as your main drive for game storage. We will go to the settings menu, to storage, and here you will find all your available storages. If I go to the M.2 SSD storage, you see that it recognizes that this drive is a Saber Rocket 4 Plus of 1TB. Also, if for any reason your data gets corrupted, here you can reformat your drive. To update our installation location, we have to go to the button and here we can select where we want our games and apps to be installed, either for PS4 or PS5. I want my PS5 games and apps to be installed and run from my new Saber drive. So when I click where it says console storage, I will change this to my M.2 SSD storage and now my games will be played from my fast NVMe drive. Now one thing you might not know is that the M.2 drive will only install games and apps and all your game share screenshots and many other media will be stored in your internal drive. To transfer games that are already installed to the new M.2 drive, I will go to console storage, games and apps, and here you will see a list of all the games that are already installed in my console. You will select the desired game to move and it will show the available locations that you will want to move the game. 
in my case the M.2 storage. Now I will click move and wait for the game to transfer over. As you see this game is about 89 gigabytes and it took 67 seconds to complete giving you speeds around 1300 megabytes a second but this might be limited by the PlayStation. After weeks of testing this drive the performance in loading time has been better. I haven't had any issues at all with the Sabran drive and the main problem that I had with the internal storage that was getting corrupted database in games is totally gone. My experience with this drive has been outstanding not only on the PS5 but also on my main computer as well as my server using them as cache drives. Sabra make great quality products and I could not recommend them enough to any person that is searching for a great drive at an excellent price. If you got any questions about this drive or any other Sabra products, they will be linked in the description below. Also let me know in the comments below what drive are you using. Are you using the internal PS5 drive or are you using an NVMe drive? Just leave it on the comments below. And if you're interested in checking other of my videos, don't forget to check the ones here on the screen.